Hi and Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. My name is Abdul Rahim and you are watching Technology Information Channel. This channel is providing a lot of videos about uh, generator wiring, generator control installation and also explaining the heavy duty diesel generators, ACM, ECU and PLC and other type of governor and speed controller car wiring diagram explanation live and practical videos daily basis uploaded on the channel so if anybody watching this video first time please make sure to subscribe the channel first and also hit the bell notification to getting more latest update videos on daily basis every kind of videos which is you need to require so before the starting the video we are little bit explain this controller overview as you can see here, PSC DFC controller, the model is 8610. This controller is used for to synchronize two or more generator parallel operation to control the load of the building or the industry. When you need to uh, operate five generator and parallel to synchronize all generator to each other, which load is not be available then the specific generator is goes to shut down and when you require your load is increased the generator selected generator is going to start this is used for this operation synchronization means two generator is running with the same frequency same voltages and same rpms okay understand we are need to synchronize two generator to each other to adjust the frequency of both generators same and also the voltages and also the governing system and also the RPM. So this TFC controller is automatically control the generator speed, generator voltage and also the generator governization system to synchronize two generator to each other okay so as you can see DFC model 8610 today video we are break out some pin out in this video to explain which is only used for the synchronization this is a very important connection for the synchronization system so and in other things after this TFC controller is used for the power supply of the controller, three phase when neutral voltages input and also CT connection input and also the MPU connection input. So the another question is another connection is not very very tough, but some my electrician and te generator technician brother is confused to install this synchronization module and not understanding the connection of the governor connection and also the AVR connection and also the MCS and also the DSC net expansion so let's get started to explain the each pin as you can see I already diagram draw the a table as you can see pin 25 and pin 26 and pin 27 this is the can high can low and also the can common can communication is used in an electronic type of model generator which have engine control module okay the all which generator is parallel and synchronized together you need to put all all generator wiring to each DFC from and the last and the end 120 ohm resistor and this is the special type of wire which is used for the can, can communication system shaded wire or screen wire okay after that negative positive pin 28 and pin 29 and also pin 30 this is the screen wire this is the positive and this is the negative this is the DSC net expansion. This disc controller is controlled by the GSM system. 
Okay, you can. Now let's move to explain the another connection of this controller. Pin 31 and pin 32 and pin 33. This is the MSC. MSC, the full form of FPC multi set commissioning. That means you operating to our mode generator and apparel. This is the commissioning and the screen attaching to each other, which is understand every screen. You can read the data of another generator in this, which generator you know clicking the buttons to checking the parameter you also check the another generator voltage frequency and each generator of frequency you can check and when you connected all the MSC system okay this is the MSC high and this is the MSC low connection and this is the screen okay finally we are reaching to the very important and very difficult connection but we are no breaking this to breaking and bring to very easily as you can see this is the pin 34 and pin 35 and also pin 37 and pin 38 which is mentioned with the pin numbers BA and BA okay in a log output to governor what is mean by the in a log output to the governor this is the simple make from 8 volt to 10 10 volt Minimum 8 volt, maximum 10 volt. BC supply, this supply is directly going to go to the governor to control the governor. Okay, this is the supply, simple BC supply in a log. This is going to control the governor. Where we put this one, taking from here to the governor. We are, this is the output, this is not the output. As you can see here. And allow out to governor. Okay. 10 volt, 8 to 10 volt DC supply. Okay. This DC supply is going to our governor potentiometer place, which is we control potentiometer remotely. Okay. Put this two wire on your governor potentiometer terminal connection which is sometimes used for the remote control operation. Okay, remove the remote control operation and connect this, this two out wire from the DSC 8610 and put in your governor potentiometer. Governor control card potentiometer. Okay, so finally we are reaching the last pin connection which is more important to have a uh, synchronization. B and A pin 37 and pin 38. It is in a log out to area. This is the maximum volt output of 5 volt DC. Okay, this 5 volt DC is going to area where we put the potentiometer to control remotely, remotely the voltage stability to rate increase and decrease of the generator voltage. But here is this controller is automatically control the governor system and also the AVR system to match the R generator voltage and frequency to each other and synchronize the all the generator to each other. So I hopefully to understand briefly the complete TFC controller wiring and also the synchronization system. For the synchronization system, we required same same frequency of both generator same same 50 50 hertz or 60 60 hertz okay then we need to same voltages same same voltages 440 415 volts or 380 same same voltages okay same terminal out connection star or delta okay understand and same engine rpm understand this generator is run in 1800 rpm. This generator also required to adjust the speed of this generator. Then install this control and do this like wiring. Your problem has been solved and you have done the job to synchronize the generators.
Thanks for watching my video. If you have further any question, please write comment below in comment section. I give you the complete, complete answer to your question. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Goodbye.